Secretary Clinton, during your 2009 Senate confirmation hearing, you promised to avoid even the appearance of a conflict of interest with your dealing with the Clinton Foundation while you were Secretary of State. But emails show that donors got special access to you. Those seeking grants for Haiti relief were considered separately from non-donors, and some of those donors got contract, government contracts, taxpayer money. Can you really say that you kept your pledge to that Senate committee, and why isn't what happened and what went on between you and the Clinton Foundation, why isn't it what Mr. Trump calls pay to play? Well, everything I did as Secretary of State was in furtherance of uh, uh, our country's interests and our values. The State Department has said that. I think that's been proven. But I am happy. In fact, I am thrilled to talk about the Clinton Foundation because it is a world-renowned charity. And I am so proud of the work that it does. You know, I could talk for the rest of the debate. I know I don't have the time to do that. But just briefly, uh, the Clinton Foundation made it possible for 11 million people around the world with HIV AIDS to afford treatment. And that's about half of all the people in the world who are getting treatment. In partnership with the American uh, Health Association, we have made environments and schools healthier Sec for kids, Secretary including Clinton, healthier respect, lunches. Respectfully, this is, a, this is an open discussion. Well, it is an open I, discussion. I understand. And, and the specific you, question went to pay for a play. Do you want to well, talk about that? Well, no, I think, look, but there is I think no that evidence, but there well is, well, there well, is, there is a lot of evidence it's been very about well the very good work and, it's a and criminal the high enterprise that and the Clinton so so Foundation have done for their It's a criminal enterprise. Uh, Saudi Arabia giving $25 million, Qatar, all of these countries. You talk about women and women's rights. So these are people that push gays off business, off buildings. These are people that kill women and treat women horribly, and yet you take their money. So I'd like to ask you right now, why don't you give back the money that you've taken from certain countries that treat certain groups of people so horribly. Why don't you give back the money? I think it would be a great gesture well, because she takes a tremendous amount of money and you take a look at the people of Haiti. I was in a little Haiti the other day in Florida and I want to tell you they hate the Clintons because what's happened in Haiti with the Clinton Foundation is a disgrace and you know it and they know it and everybody knows.